Thank you for catching our video. If you're new to the channel and you like this video, please subscribe and share it with friends. I want to remind everybody, these are the morons of the YouTube and investing world. Make sure you give them a shout out. So we have three stocks at a 52 week low. First one, let's go to our stock analyzer tool and everybody who has our software, please just follow along. It's very easy. If you don't just watch the video and listen and it's great. So Align Technology, this company is the one that does clear dental. Is this Invisalign? It is Invisalign. The line. So look at the stock price, guys. This is the last year. Hit a high of 737 and a low of 225. Guys, that's a fall of 60 some percent. It is currently at 246. So it's a little bit up off the high. But remember, I want to repeat this over and over on our 52 week lows. It's amazing how much stocks will fall when they're ready to fall. Because remember, easier to go down than go up. So let's go through and let's go to the eight pillars tab real quick. So, guys, here's what we got here. We've got all eight pillars here and this is what we love to see, actually. Even though these two X's are here, these are the two valuation metrics we have. The other ones are all looking good. They're buying back shares. Not necessarily a good thing overall, but very low debt, increased cash flow, increased net income, increased revenue, and a high return on invested capital. This is great. So this is just telling us, be careful, it might be overpriced. So the question you need to find out for yourself is, is it overpriced? Because remember, if you've watched our videos, you know that a company that's growing 100% a year versus a company that's growing 0% a year can justify a much higher PE or price of free cash flow, right? It makes perfect sense. If two companies are exactly the same today, but one's going to grow 100% a year for 10 years and one's not going to grow at all, which one would you pay more for? It's pretty obvious, right? So how do we determine that? So let's go to the stock analyzer tool. This is our most popular tool in our software. And the reason being, it allows you, the investor, to sit there and screen by deciding what assumptions you're going to make about the future. Because every investment is the present value of all future cash flow. So you make your your assumptions here while looking at the one, five, and 10 year data. And it'll tell you what you should pay for the stock based on today's assumptions. Now remember, this doesn't factor in balance sheet, but from a cash flow perspective, if the numbers fall within a certain criteria of, of your assumptions, it tells you now it's time to go do more work. So right here, Invisalign is growing. But remember guys, it is hard to keep big growth rates up for a long period of time. And my job as an investor and your job, hopefully as you learn, is to be conservative because there's 10,000 companies out there. Be conservative on your assumptions and find the 20, 30, or 40 companies that fit your assumptions, right? So I'm gonna sit here, I'm gonna go eight, 11, and 14%. I just pulled these out of nowhere. I've done zero research on the company. I wanna make very conservative assumptions. Again, if at the end, I've got a lot of green, it tells me go do more research. Profit margin. Now, profit margin is probably going to stay pretty similar, but I'm still going to be a little conservative. I'm going to go 22, 24, 26. Free cash flow margin. I'm going to go 8, 17. Now I'm going to go 18, 19, and 20. PE. Guys, 14, 16, 18. Now this is probably going to be the most confusing for everybody who's new watching the channel, but trust me, PE is reflective of moat and growth potential. And it's hard to justify really high PEs in general. Companies eventually fall down, especially as they grow, it's going to be harder. Now Invisalign is a well-known brand. So I can justify a little bit of a moat there. But again, my job is to be conservative. And then finally, my desired annual return. I usually like 12 and a half percent. And the reason being is I can get nine or 10% from any sort of ETF, market-based ETF. I picked 12 and a half to give me an ample um, starting margin of safety and to give me a little bit of reason to buy individual stock versus doing an ETF. So the stock is currently at 246. I hit the analyze button and down below. All right. Well, guys, here's the good news. Look at this. We've got three greens. And we've got three red. And the three red aren't bad. Like it's almost at this discounted cash flow. So what's this telling me? First off, what I'm going to do is I am going to hit this plus mark on our software and I'm going to have the stock, our software notify you and I when the stock hits my desired price. That way I can be notified of this. In the meantime, I'm using this as my reason to go do more research in the company. Stock number two, GE. Now let's go check out GE. Pulling up GE on our stock analyzer tool. Now GE is a very diverse company. So GE stock guys. Now GE is a tough one. Let's look at the max chart for GE. Back in 2000, 471. Guys, do you know know how big GE was and is. If I had told you 22 years ago that this $470 stock, 22 years later, we'd be selling for $66. You'd have said, Paul, G effing E down 85. No, pro, no chance. 85% drop. No chance. This company is going to the moon. I mean, look at it. 20 years ago, it did revenue of $126 billion, 116 billion. Guys, look at this. Last year, it did 74 billion in revenue. Now they've sold off a lot of divisions. But here's the scary part about GE that makes me go, eh, I don't know if I'm going further on this one, even though it's at a 52 week low. When was the last time they made money? In the last 10 years, they've only made money one, two, three, four 
four times. That's it. And in the last five years, they've lost money every single year. Now, does that mean avoid? No, it just means to me that there are far better opportunities out there. Let me go find them. Don't go breaking your back. Don't go sweating to go find all these things that'll work to make the company make um, stock work for you. Just move on. Find something you can understand better. Plus, GE has a lot of loans out there. It's a complicated balance sheet. It's not as simple as they sell this product, they have this cost. It's not that simple. So in my opinion, even though the stock is a two-week low, if you're looking at it for a value perspective, my opinion is I'm moving on. Stock number three, TSM, Taiwan Semiconductor. Now, this is interesting because you guys have all heard the chip industry, semiconductor industry has been flying lately because of the lack of chips out there, right? So look at the stock price. 145 peak, it's currently basically at its 52-week low within a dollar or two of it. So let's see if this might be, oh, look at this gross margin. This is pretty good, 53% gross margin. 36% average five-year profit margin, 38% last year. Oh, now here's one thing I'll tell you. This is why we look at this on the main page. If you're following our software, you probably saw this. 2.3% dividend yield paying out $9.2 billion. Last year's free cash flow was 13.4. La the last five years average was 8.6. Even if they replicated the next five years the same, that's a big chunk of the free cash flow going out to dividends. Be very careful there. Don't fall for a dividend trap. The one thing you guys are going to learn on this channel, if you've watched our videos before, you're learning it over and over, that just because they're paying a dividend does not mean they can afford it. Cash flow is what's used to do that. So let's go to the eight pillars tab. Again, just like Align Technologies, all check marks except for our PE and our price of free cash flow. Now look at this. Look at how different the PE and price of free cash flow is. Because the PE is lower, it means they're reporting more earnings than free cash flow. And over long periods of time, these should be very similar. So it makes me pause and go, okay, let's go check it out here. And there are multiple reasons that it could happen. But look at this growth over the last 10 years. 18 billion, 55 billion. Look at the growth in the last two years in terms of revenue. Net income growth, five and a half billion 10 years ago, 22 billion last year. I mean, this is big time growth. So the question you have to ask yourself is, is it worth it? Let's just go right to the stock analyzer tool and start making our assumptions. So again, big revenue growth in the last 10 years and the world is growing. The world is becoming more technology advanced. They're gonna need more chips. So the question becomes, what's a good growth rate? This is the art of investing. I would love to be able to sit there and say, hey, it's just this. But again, guys, if we knew the answers, there would be no investing because the whole point of investing is finding missed value. So you have to make your assumptions. So for example, on revenue growth here, I'm going to go 5, 8, and 11%. And I think 11 is very, very high. Profit margin, I'm going to go 35, 36, and 37. Actually, you know what? Let's go 34, 36, and 38. Free cash flow margin. Now, this is where I get concerned. I don't know why the free cash. So one of the things I'm going to do in my research is I'm going to figure out why are their earnings and free cash flow so different. PE, 14, 16, 18, 14, 16, 18. And of course, my 12.5% return. Hit the analyze button. And guys, just really quick before we look at the results, this is why you're watching the channel because probably all the things you see out there aren't making sense. Like, why are these things falling? Remember, when you buy a stock, you're buying a piece of a business. And something I always say in this channel, the more you know, the less you fear. It is fearful out there to see stocks that you love falling, going, what is going on here? I love this company. Why is it falling? Well, the great news is when you're here to learn, you're going to understand better why stocks go up and down in the short run and the long run. And you find a great company at a great price, you're okay if the stock falls. I just recently had friends of mine who were telling me, Penn Gaming, Penn Gaming, Penn Gaming. At 140, Penn Gaming is the best. I really silly texted him at three or 30 some dollars. I sold it. Well, wait a second. If you love Penn Gaming at 140 and revenue and profit are all up, why are you selling it just because the stock price fell? He doesn't understand what makes stocks go up and down over long periods of time. In the short run, it's fun to ride things out. But in the long run, we're here to buy good businesses at good prices. So now, this might, you might be looking at yourself saying, yeah, this is a lot of work. 
I know it's a lot of work, trust me, but this is exactly why I created the channel. We wanted a community of people who are value investors who thought very similar, who could sit, get together and use tools and use a community. You see up here, we have this EM community. Over 12,000 people have bought this software since we started a year and a half ago. And very, very active group in here who are doing research, who are doing all these things that can sit there and help each other out. Because guess what, guys? It's impossible to know everything. But as you learn more from this channel and this community, your decisions will be driven by very, very specific points. And there's a lot of research to do on companies like this. I just sat there and said one big one. Somebody in here probably already has the information. So go in there, talk to them. And this is exactly why we created it. And it's so easy to sign up two ways, everythingmoney.com or for our international users, patreon.com slash everything money. You go in there, sign up now for less than a cup of coffee. You can get this whole community as well as all of this software, all of our tools, eight pillars tool, retirement calculator, stock analyzer. You can put all your stocks in the eight pillar portfolio. Exclusive video content every single day. We post videos to only people in this chat and we have live streams to only people in the chat. And the watch list. You saw it in the first stock line. I added it to the watch list so I could sit there and do it. And of course, all the software that's coming soon. This is all available for you for less than a cup of coffee a day. But back to our stock analyzer tool. I'm going to our history, pull it back up again. And guess what? Here is our result. Here are our results. Okay, so we're not far off from the top side of the middle. And if you like my high assumptions, you're somewhere there. I would do more research. But for me, what I'm going to do is I'm looking at this saying, okay, it's kind of in between. Let me add this to my watch list at this price. And when it hits there, I will reevaluate. And if it requires me, and if I like what I see, I'm going to go do more research. So remember, the more you know, the less you fear. And if you like what you saw here, Click up here for our past video from June 21st, Microsoft, Disney, and Intel, and what we paid for them after their 52-week close. Thank you very much.